guys this is Pam and welcome back to my channel so before we start with the review I just want to give you guys a quick explanation as to why I haven't done a review in a while I believe my last review was in February and um, I don't know if you notice that the cheeks are poofy poofy and chubby it's because I think I've gained about close to 25 pounds and that's because as of today I am currently 30 weeks pregnant yeah! So we are having our third boy and I promise this is the last one um, yeah I, I can't I can't handle anymore that's this is this is enough so anyway when I hit my first trimester it got me really really sick and this is this is the worst pregnancy I've had my last couple my last two wasn't really this hard but this one hit me really bad um, I was just really sick really tired I I couldn't function like I'm not even kidding you I couldn't function I was just in bed for like straight two months okay alongside that I was very 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 nauseous so I couldn't handle any smell okay I, I, I couldn't even um, even like a smell of like a baby shampoo or even the lightest slightest smell or the smell of detergent or like a, um, a hand soap I, I, I couldn't handle it it adds to my uh, sickness you know like i was already like super sick then you add those scents it, it just i couldn't tolerate any of that so that's why i haven't done a review because i couldn't even wear perfume i i i only started wearing perfume again sort of i would say the beginning of june okay um but lately um, I'm, I'm happy to say that I have been wearing perfumes if you follow me on Instagram you'd see that my scent of the day um, I try to post as much as I can because I know I haven't even done this in a while but um, I'm slowly getting better um, I'm still kind of sick on and off but from time to time uh, I could handle some scents uh, I'm like, like I'm still very picky and choosy with the scents that I could wear it really depends it really just depends um, for some reason though i'm like digging oud i know it's a such a strong it's such a strong scent but that's just what my what i'm liking um, as of late even though it's really hot right now so let's go ahead and get started with the review now that we have gotten that out of the way um uh this review actually is vanilla diorama I'm sure you have heard a lot about this one. This is a, a, a pretty, pretty new fragrance from Dior. Um, again, it's called a Vanilla Diorama. Okay, so I, I do want to read you the notes, although, you know, I mean, just for reference. Um, the notes are, top notes are orange, pink pepper, and lemon. Middle notes are rum, cacao, and cardamom. Base notes are bar bourbon, vanilla, sandalwood, and patchouli. And this is released. Um, they just released this in the U.S. on the Dior website this August. And I got me a bottle. Okay, so I was really, really excited for this. Really looking forward to it. So I got, I got a bottle. Um, and to be honest, it was actually a love at first sniff. Okay. And just so you know, I'm not going to go in super details with this one. It's just going to be a brief review. I'm just going to let you know what I think and how I feel about it. So I just I sprayed it again just to remind myself. So this was actually a love at first sniff. But this is giving me a lot of like a fev delicious vibe. Uh, I'm not saying they smell the same, but it's definitely giving me that vibe. A fev a delicious vibe and the spiritus dublivini spiritus dublivini in the sense of its booziness okay it, the, the type of booziness this this has like so much alike so much similar with spiritus dublivini but having said that i prefer the concoction of the notes in spiritus dublivini like i have no problem with the booziness of of uh of the uh, sdv but this one for some reason so so initially the first the first spray i love it i would say i enjoyed it for the first couple of minutes but 
um, I did say that it reminds me of Fave Delicious in, term, uh, in terms of the scent profile. It's got like kind of that, you know, very vanillic dried fruits, a little bit of booze, sweet, sweet syrupiness. It's not, it's not quite as sticky and thick as Feb Delicious, but I'm not really a huge fan of Feb. I wish I am, I, I wish that I am or I was. I have tried it many, many times. I do adore it, okay? I do adore Feb, but for some reason, I can only tolerate it for 10 minutes. After about 10 minutes, I am done with the smell. And this is me, before even being pregnant, okay, Be before even being nauseous. This is like uh, for, for the last two years I have been trying Fev on and off, okay, to, just just to, to kind of maybe test myself if if I maybe I'm liking it this time. But I'm always ending up having the same experience that after I enjoyed it, but after about ten minutes I can't tolerate the scent anymore. Like something about it that's too overwhelming. I guess it's the dried fruitiness of Fev. It's giving the vanilla diorama is giving me the same experience. I enjoy it. Maybe first two to three minutes, but then there's something about it that after a while I just can't tolerate it anymore. Now I'm not saying I don't like the fragrance, I do, but I just it becomes overwhelming to me. Like there's something about the concoction that um yeah, I, I just get overwhelmed. But again, I'm talking about my personal experience. It might be different for you, of course. Um, yeah, okay, so my favorite part of this one, so let me explain to you what it smells like. So yeah, the, the booziness of Spiritus and then the a, a lot of the same facets as, as Fev, but it's more of like a thinner, lighter airier version of fev not quite as dried fruity ish as web as fev is this one is more of like i'm gonna go ahead and spray it on my skin so yeah it's 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 a very very beautiful scent I get the vanilla from, from from the opening, straight from the opening. I mean, of course, mixed with the citrus, the lemon and the orange. See, I love it. I love it. But yeah, after about five minutes, like I'm, I'm, I'm overwhelmed. But it does develop way. So it's super strong. OK, the projection is strong in the, the, the sillage is strong. I would say for the first at least at least for the first 30 minutes, okay, at least. You, you might get even 45 minutes uh, of that strong sillage and projection. Even like one or two sprays on my arm, that's that's how I experienced it. But um, after about, once it hits the very dry down, it's a, it gets a very, very soft vanilla, which is to me is my favorite part, okay? But it just, like to me, it takes, uh, when I'm wearing this perfume, I just can't wait to get to the very dry down. Like I get impatient waiting that 30, 45 minutes to hit that dry down because for me, like, you know, I'm having to tolerate that 45 minutes until it gets to the dry down. But the dry down to me reminds me a lot of Queer Beluga by Guerlain, once again. But to me, Queer Beluga is just so much better. Okay? So how does it remind me of queer beluga it's giving me that that play-doh vibe queer beluga to me smells a lot like play-doh you know it's 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 very round and um like a like a vanilla play-doh that's like the best i can explain explain queer beluga with a hint of salt so the very dry down of vanilla diorama reminds me of that but i much prefer um queer beluga so Actually, having said that, I don't think I would be keeping this bottle uh, only because of that period of time it takes me to actually finally enjoy it. So I enjoy it 
the first two three minutes and then after that i'm done i'm overwhelmed then you know i have to wait so and so long time such a long time for me to enjoy it but then i don't even enjoy it as much as queer beluga which it reminds me of then i'd much rather just wear uh, queer beluga so that's my honest opinion in this perfume having said that i think it's still a beautiful perfume but to me if you already own feb um, and you already are enjoying that then just stick with that but if you just want to add this to your collection you're a fan of feb anyway i know you would like this okay or if you if you're a fan of spiritus dublivini and you like the dior stuff anyway you go ahead and try it so i'm what i'm saying is it's a beautiful perfume it's just not for me okay or or maybe it's just not for me right now i actually got excited over this because i've heard people comparing it to fev but like a lighter thinner version which i agree um and i was hoping maybe this is the fev version that i would enjoy but it's still giving me that same experience and i'm sad i'm actually really really sad about that um, and i'm sorry to disappoint some of you um but please do try it okay because um they all have different experiences our body reacts our preferences are so so different but anyway that's my review for vanilla diorama guys um, and i really hope you enjoyed that i will do my best to um give you some more few reviews before um, this baby is finally out because i'm sure once this baby is out it's gonna be a while again before i make a review but please do subscribe still to my channel because i am not gone forever okay i might take a little break but i'm not gone forever you're always on my mind i think about you guys um i wish you know i have more time and in energy to give you more reviews or you know because I, I i do actually enjoy doing this i'm just like not always up to it you know um but i missed you guys and i hope you enjoy this um please let me know what you think about this one i am curious about your personal experiences uh, and that's it for today thank you guys uh so much for watching and i hope to see you on my next video Bye bye